Hi everybody, it's me Ligar Laxon, also known as Kino and Artie. Uh, I'm here to do a review about the new Robocop trailer. Um, I actually have this rare, rare, never before release in my YouTube account. Um, check out my channel. It explains a, a very rare uh, <clears throat> uh, making of. And... Um, of course, I I got I mean I gotta tell you guys this this new movie. I mean, I gotta tell you guys I like I like RoboCop a lot. I've been a big fan. I have everything of RoboCop from action figures from three trilogies from this version, the uncut edition, to even just a regular home title edition right here, and even from the Prime Directives, which I don't really I like the story, but I didn't really like the. You know, the low budget scheme. I'm um, also an Iron Man fan, if you can uh, notice. <laughs> uh, but um, just to continue about this um, Robocop, um, I mean, there's also a website you should check out. It's uh, Omnicorp.com um, if you really want to check it out. Omnicorp.com. It's a viral website style, making it look like um, <clears throat> where I used to work at Goodrich Aerospace. To make it look like a seam, like an R and D, or like kind of like you know an aerospace position, like hey, follow us. And this is the making of. And of course, the trailer has been released. So I actually have previews of scenes in my channel, so you guys can check it out. Uh, what do I think about the new RoboCop movie that's coming out? Well, one, it's going to be the second movie that Verhoeven, Paul Verhoeven, who is a great master director, um, is going to be the second movie. That that's gonna be remade. I mean, I mean, Robocop is a great movie of the past. I mean, it has that ring to it that makes you like to hear the soundtrack, the sound effects, the satire, the laugh, um, the commercials. <laughs> I'll buy that for a dollar. Uh, when you look at um, Total Recall, oh, they remade that too. They they really watered it down. And from the trailer, from my review, I I looked at Robocop like, I mean, come on, Robocop was very. I mean, Alex Murphy. The character, he was literally slaughtered. I mean, he was tortured. I mean, he was shot multiple times with with an arm, arm uh, Kevlar vest, and of course he's being tortured, getting shot at in, in gunfire. And of course, what is good about having a Kevlar vest when you're against five guys with guns? <laughs> and it proves it. And then you'd rather be a machine. Okay. Um, I mean, I mean, especially introduces the Ford Taurus as a police car. Uh, putting um, the the extended bra guard for the bumpers to make it look very. I mean, I actually have uh, pictures of uh, Robocop, even the comic book. Um, when you look at the Robo guy in, in, in his original Robo Cruiser, that was the most embarrassing thing I ever saw in my life. I mean, I didn't like that cruiser. It looked like a wannabe Batmobile. Uh, it has like it like it looks like a V8 type of car. And <clears throat> Robocop is one of the movies that, I mean. It doesn't even need to be remade. I mean, they already spawned up to two sequels. A uh, sequel like Robocop 2 was directed by Urban Kirshner, uh, known for making movies that doesn't seem like the first. Uh, if you watch Empire Strikes Back, you'll see what I'm talking about. It doesn't even have a title. You have to watch it to the credit to see the title. Then, uh, Fred Decker, who's known to make kids movies, uh, kid horror movies, and he is a way ahead of its time. So when you look at Robocop, um, uh, Robocop 3 was very, very childish, and they watered it down big time. And Ann Lewis, um, now it's actually um, a black man, uh, an African American man, was going to be uh, Lewis. <laughs> and then there's going to be a lot of changes. Um, so when you look at the Robocop movie, I mean, they already have released the Blu ray, which didn't make any sense um, at all. I mean, this, I mean, they already re released. I mean, Peter Weller was right. I mean, look at this. It just came with the regular Blu-ray, and then it came with the, these guys. That looks completely different. But Robocop shouldn't be remade. I mean, as much as you put so much CGI, as how Peter Weller says it, I mean, literally. Um, even, would you imagine Arnold right here to be, an, can you imagine another Terminator? I mean, another person. I mean, I watched Terminator, the Sarah Connor uh, Chronicles. And I cannot even imagine another Arnold, you know, another imitator. It's so hard to imitate somebody. Now, Joel Kinnaman, uh, who does great in that TV show called The Killing, uh, from what I see, he does 
Uh, he can act like a anybody can act like Alex Murphy, but not like with a voice like Peter Weller. Um, in my view, yes, you can remake a movie. Oh, uh, yet don't remake a movie. I mean, um, look at how Stallone approached his movies. Rambo. He didn't remake the movie. He literally made a sequel to make John Rambo. Um, then he actually continued it on with the Rocky. Would they ever do that with Robocop, try to remake it? No, it was already too late. They already made a TV series. They made a four-part mini t oh, cartoon series. It's time. It's, I see why they have to remake it. Redesign the suit. Um, I can see why they made him stuff black. Uh, not making him silver. Because, you know, when you see a man in uniform, bright silver, you can see him anywhere. And then when you look at Robocop now, he's going to be stealth, kind of like artillery, because practically OCP or Omnicorp is practically, we are the military. So, here's a little spoiler. Um, Robocop was original uh, in this remake, he is going to be completely transformed. It actually said like, oh, that suit sucks, when it shows the original concept was actually the original Robocop suit, then they made him slick black. He was going to, he's going to be set in... In, in Pakistan or somewhere around over there in Iraq and shooting down uh, Osama bin Laden style people with the Ed 29s and and then now they're gonna put it enforcement on the street so I can see why the director Jose Padilla uh, a Portuguese director is known for directing the Elite Squad part one and two and um, uh, I can see his views it's gonna show the emotion of the, the uh, another way of Robocop he is not really remaking a movie he's making another Robocop so if you're looking at it, it's just a, with this cartoonish title and with the most very, very rated R content. Uh, I don't know if this movie's going to be 3D, but I know it's not going to be filmed in 3D. It's actually filmed for IMAX view. Um, if you watch Robocop 1, the movie was very, very ahead of its time. It actually has GPS. Um, they actually had liquor stores looking like how it is today. Um, basically, everything, even gangsters now, look just like them. And... It was really ahead of its time. They actually had DVD. Uh, back then there was Betamax and VHS, but they, who would imagine to put movies on a CD? So this movie was ahead of its time. So there was a lot of things. If you watch Robocop, uh, the series, there was actually a kid playing a Game Boy DS, and that was, I believe, years before the DS came out. The kid was playing with two, imagine playing a video game with two screens. All right, that was Alex Murphy's son. So I'm going to find that episode. So yeah, it shows... You know, Robocop was supposed to be ahead of its time, so... Now, when I saw that trailer, it was very too ahead of its time. It's supposed to be set in 20... 2029 or something, but I don't know um, that far, but... Um, I know my time is running out, but I have this in my account. Uh, up with a wife and a young son, and he is pretty much killed in the line of duty. And in this environment, Omnicorp, which is a multinational contractor, working almost exclusively in robots sees an opportunity to marry a robot with a man. This is not a guy who invented a suit that he can dress in it and become all powerful. You know, military uses and on law enforcement uses. So you have a lot it of It does actions. remind me a lot of Elite yeah. Squad. So in, in my second screen, real you world can... is going to feel very realistic. There's Call of Duty style shootouts with an army of these things. It's going to be pretty spectacular. There's Robocop's gun. We're looking forward to is being able to update the ED-209. And, you know, it's such a memorable moment uh, when you see it in the original. So I'm looking forward to being able to really integrate some sophisticated motion and composites into the scene where we feature the ED-209. Omnicorp basically is run by an entrepreneur, um, businessman. And so that's what Robocop is, a product. So they're trying to find the perfect So idea Robocop actually runs. So my minute's about to be up. I mean, there's so much I can talk about Robocop. I mean, I understand why he's he basically an African-American male partner, Lewis. He's going to be killed. <clears throat> I mean, uh, the other part is, of course, he's not right being on a Robocruiser because he's going to be in a motorcycle now. And the motorcycle, Robocop was only appeared once in a motorcycle, was Robocop 2. Uh, then, of course, the TV cartoon series made an action figure, the Robo Cycle. But it was actually Will Wilson, uh, basically an ultra police, who was the first OCP police officer that was actually a Detroit police officer that was able to be in a Robo Cycle. Mm, not Robocop. So I, I'm going to make a part two about this. I'm, I'm a, I don't want to say this, but yeah, I'm a big Robocop expert. I mean, if you want to see a human version of Robocop, you got Judge Dredd. And if you want to see a pure, pure cyborg of Robocop without human, 